I found out who the imposter was only thanks to their level in the crewmate round. In the imposter round, I got another insane triple kill, and in the bonus round, I used an old technique of mine to help me catch the two imposters. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Green does make a really good point, but it's so surprising that the crewmates won't listen. So, there are two scientists with an 80% chance, three guardian angels with an 80% chance, two, science, uh, two engineers with a 60% chance. Oh, it's actually a dent. Nice. Um, one out of the three, now two imposters is a shapeshifter. There's a task that on, and the difference between the number of tasks and the kill cooldown is really good. So, Corradin found this body in lab and claimed that he saw that kill. Now, Green said that if the kill was obvious, which is something that Coral didn't really clarify on. If the kill was obvious, then it's probably a shapeshifter. Because imposters rarely kill as normal imposters and not as shapeshifters. It's really rare for that to happen. I hope you guys get what I mean. But luckily, now we have two imposters left, but we still have to be careful since one of them is a shapeshifter. Also, the first thing said during last meeting's chat was my own claiming that it was a self report by Coral. Since Coral, Coral, since Coral got an imposter voted out, I think he's clear. But I will try to investigate Maroon a little bit more. I don't really think it's Ian, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be wrong, but let's see what happens. So, green, black, purple, yellow, and Coral, yeah, like I expected, we were wrong about Ian. So, these five guys were all at the left side of the map. I think three were in electrical and two were in um, O2. Rose said that she found the body below lamp and claimed that it was Cyan. Now, Cyan claimed that it could be a shapeshifter, but when we asked him where he was and if anyone could vouch for him, first of all, nobody vouched for him. And second of all, he claimed that he was inside of lamp. Keep in mind, the body was found below lamp outside. So. I don't think we're really at fault here for voting him out. R.I.P. Maroon, I never found out why you thought that Coral was a suspect. So last round, Banana was a suspect, but everybody decided to skip since we were wrong about Cyan, we were worried that we would be wrong about Banana as well. So we decided to give Banana a chance and skip. And would you know it, we were right. I was with Green and Rose for the majority of that round until we all split. But Rose called the meeting and Green was found dead. Everybody had an alibi exit for Banana, which is why we all eventually decided to vote him out. Even though we lost our engineer Green, at least I know that if I or anybody else see someone vent, then they're probably an imposter given how unlikely any of the crewmates will get a, an engineer wrong. This vote is so random and so unnecessary, I just... Yellow found the body and allegedly doesn't know where the body was. He is level 30. Like, even if you're playing on only exclusively one map, you can't convince me that you don't know about the fact that you could open the map icon while doing the meeting so that you could know where the body was. Like, you can't convince me that at all. And besides, if you don't know what this map is, or what it looks like, why are you even doing it? Why not practice a bit offline? <laughs> Moving on, considering the fact that there are four people left, and since Orange was with me last round in lab, a few moments before the body got reported, I'm going to stick with him. So if either of the other two crewmates die, we can report the body immediately, or we could call a meeting. I plan to um, camp near vitals, because that is literally all we need to do. We see somebody die, we could just immediately call a meeting. I don't think we could do a task screen here. Two hours later. Yeah, I laid out a script, and they followed it. Cora died, I immediately called a meeting, and Orange and I both got yellow voting. You cannot convince me that a level 30 player doesn't know where a body is on pause. There's just no way. Let's move on to the imposter round. Despite the fact that my imposter partner Yellow just got voted out and there are no shapeshifters, I think it's highly possible that I'll still win this game despite the circumstances. So 
so there are no roles at all. No engineers, no scientists, no guardian angels, and no shapeshifters. Blah, blah, blah. The visual tasks are on, but nobody needs to get visual yet. And the number of tasks for the crewmates, I think, is about 12 tasks, which is crazy. And the imposters have a 10 second kill cooldown. Assuming this was a lobby full of 15 people, maybe it would have been impossible for me to win. But luckily, right now, there are um, seven, no, sorry, six people left. Never mind, make it six people again. I think it's highly possible that I will win. I just gotta play the waiting game. I wasn't sus last meeting. This banana! Okay, so far, a successful double kill. I wonder how many more kills I could get right now. There is no way. There is no way. <laughs> so, if you're wondering how I survived that, Cyan is AFK. He didn't vote, so. Basically, right now, my win is guaranteed. It's in the bank. I actually went as far as to do my whole plan to Coral about me sabotaging communications, then waiting for my kill to finish, and then killing him. You know what? I don't care anymore. Like, Coral could go call a meeting if he wants. Because if sign is AFK, the vote will just keep on ending with a tie. Because there's no way I'm giving up this win away. I'm planning to have a little bit more fun with this. Yeah, once the realization that Cyan is AFK and that there is no way they could win, many of the crewmates just outright left the meeting, or left the game rather. But I wonder, if Cyan was actually still like online, would they still have won this game? I wonder if I would have convinced him to vote Cora. Regardless, let's move on to the one as well. Yeah, I don't think they could have found... Oh wait, it was Rose! Okay, I think things kind of make sense right now. So, I found the body in electrical. I was checking vitals, I came from the lab. I checked vitals, I found that two people were dead. I didn't went to electrical because at that time, the lights were sabotaged, so, so I thought that most probably someone died there. Once I arrived, the lights were fixed, and the last person to exit electrical was Rose. I couldn't recall who was that person who came from electrical during the meeting, but I just did right now. Anyway, I don't think it could have been Rose, because the logical move for an imposter is to get in the vents instead of exiting from electrical, because most likely somebody will catch him. I think it might be red though. Oh, I forgot to mention, all of the chronotrolls have 5 pairs with 100% chance, and there is one shapeshifter with a 50% chance. Red is dead. Hmm. I'm going to explain after the meeting why I thought that Red was an imposter. There are a lot of things that I want to go over, so we'll start off first by explaining why I thought that Red was an imposter during the previous round. You see, when I reported the body, I said that it was an electrical. Red said that I was probably wrong and claimed that I was an imposter. Because, according to him, when they were fixing lights, and even after the lights were fixed, they didn't find anybody, and the report button didn't pop up for them. So that's why I thought that he was an imposter, and that perhaps he killed the electrical, then invented in O2. But turns out that I was wrong. Another thing that I forgot to mention during the previous round is that purple and orange both claimed that they had visuals. Um, apparently, right now, both purple and orange did asteroids, and purple claimed that she had scanned, which... She just did, and now she's clear. Besides that, blue, banana, and gray, I think, according to purple, all entered lab, which was... The body was basically found in lab, and I think blue, banana, and gray are all suspects. Let's now try to find out what happened here. This strategy is not only useful in catching one of the imposters, but it would also um, put good use to crewmates who have 
nothing to do. So, like I said in the previous round, Purple Slip claimed that she saw me, Banana and Grey all enter the lab. Now, I think that Banana and Grey are one of our suspects, and I'm going to add Cyan to that list because he was with Cyan in the node next to the lab. But regardless, um, Yellow claimed that he had nothing to do and offered to follow anyone who is a suspect. I told Yellow that he should follow Banana, and I told White that if he was free, to follow Black. Hopefully he will do that. Now, as you guys may know, if Yellow dies, then Banana is an imposter. And the same thing applies for Black and White. I asked Purple to follow me for two reasons. One, she's the only person I trust in this whole entire lobby. And two, I want to keep her safe. Because unfortunately we lost Orange and I don't think we can really afford to lose another crewmate. One who is 100% safe. And keeping Purple alive will help us a lot with the process of elimination. I'm going to try and complete some of my tasks because the only thing that I've been doing for the past two rounds was just scouting. Oh! That's odd. I think Banana might get voted out here. Alright, so once some of the crewmates... Okay, we're going to call another meeting and vote Banana out. Because Yellow claimed that Banana has been trying to do nothing because him. And he has been trying to stick with Coral according to another crewmate. I think it was White. But yeah, we're going to fix this sabotage and vote Banana out immediately. I'm not having any of this. I told Yellow that after we vote Banana to stick with Rose. Because she's another... Yeah, yeah, that's the end for Banana. <laughs> like, what did he expect to happen? Was... I don't know. So, basically, once we caught a meeting, he claimed that I was an imposter and that Yellow was an imposter. Like, basically, sussing random people for no reason and no evidence at all. And he literally forgot that last round, he admitted to being the imposter. Like, buddy, the fact that you admit to being an imposter isn't going to fly over even the dumbest comments. Like, it's just not gonna happen. Anyway, we're continuing with the plan. Yellow is gonna stick with Rose because she literally said nothing this entire game. White is going to continue to stick with Black and I'm going to continue sticking with Purple. Two hours later. I didn't notice that White left last round, but regardless, Black and Yellow both followed Rose, and nobody died, so we ended up concluding that it's definitely Rose, and that if it wasn't, then it's Black. GG's. This is not the only time I've got an essential kill on Polos. There is another one, and it's on your screen right now. See you guys next time.